Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be doing my T20 World Cup predictions. So let's get into it. So in this is going to be part one of the series. So in part one we're going to be doing the qualifying nations. And in part two we will be doing the Super 12s. And in part three we will be doing the finals and a team of the tournament. So first up, we will be doing the qualifying nations. So Group A will be up first with UAE, Namibia, Netherlands, and Sri Lanka. So I have put UAE, UAE coming fourth in Group A, just because they have had no form. They've lost seven out of their last ten matches, playing Bangladesh, Hong Kong, and Singapore and Kuwait and they they haven't got any form at all losing by by 32 runs and seven runs in by Bangladesh the Bangladesh beat them in a two match T20 series a couple of days ago so that's not looking good for them so that's why I put them as last place and not to qualify in the Super 12s. So, so coming in third in Group A, I've put Netherlands because they have come off, um, they've come off losses against Pakistan and New Zealand recently. Although both Pakistan and New Zealand are hard to beat, it's probably because that um. It's, their confidence is going to be really down because a lot of those wins were they were quite close like one of them was nine runs against Pakistan in a T20 match whereas there were a few bigger bigger wins but I would just think that they would be down on a lot of confidence and they haven't played a a whole lot of cricket recently so they haven't had game time and I just think that all these other teams have had recent games and they're just going to be down on confidence. So coming in second for group A I've put Namibia which means they will qualify for the Super 12s and this is because they have had they've only lost two out of the last ten matches and all those wins have been pretty considerable amounts. Like there was 61, 167, 68, 63, and 79. Also a 40-run 40 victory and a three-wicket victory. So that is going to be... And also because the, these matches were like quite recent. So they, will have, they would have had game time. To prepare for the tournament and they're going to be really high on confidence so that's why I put them as two. Now I have put to top the table in group A being Sri Lanka and pretty much only because they have they have just won the Asia Cup beating Pakistan and India which are both powerhouses of T20 international cricket and I don't sit and I just I rarely see them playing finals in the in this T20 World Cup, if not winning. So that's why I have put them number one. And yeah, I just think they're going to win every game. They have quite a lot of form going into it. They ended up beating Pakistan by 23 runs and five wickets. India by six, which is pretty big for a small cricketing nation so that's why I think they're that's I think they're going to make it to the Super 12s if not further so that rounds out group A with UAE in Netherlands not qualifying and, and Namibia in Sri Lanka going to qualify so now we are going to go on to group B Right, 
so in group B we have Scotland, West Indies, Ireland, and Zimbabwe. So it's now time to do them. So in fourth spot in group B I have put Scotland just because they they haven't played cricket since the 17th of August. Although we do have warm-up matches, it's that they just haven't played for a long time, and two matches is not enough to get to get back into it. And also, they could be riding a bit of a high last year, and they're going to be playing nations that they haven't played for a long time, which would also affect how they play. Right. So in third and not qualifying, I'm going to have Islands just because they haven't played cricket since the 18th of August, same as Scotland, and I just don't think that Cricket Island is, or Island, Island Cricket Team is in like, the, like a space at, the, at this time period to beat like West Indies or Zimbabwe. So that's, that's just why I've got them in third. So for group B, I have put West Indies to come second. This is because although they have come off recent series losses against West Indi uh, against New Zealand and India, yep, yep, India, I just think that their lineup is like, the best out of all those teams. But although they have had big losses, it's been that I feel like their their lineup is just gonna batter each teams each of the teams there. So that's why I feel like they they're gonna come seconds. And a bit of a surprise here to come first. I've put Zimbabwe to come first in the group stages. Now, this is because they have had recent recent success in Australia against the Aussies, obviously winning by three wickets in the third ODI, which would really boost their, their confidence, obviously beating Australia in Australia, which is one of the hardest things to do in international cricket even the kiwis couldn't win a game um and that's that's really all that's why i've put them there they've probably got a massive con confidence boost from that match and i just feel that their team is going to lift this t20 world cup so going through to the super 12s we will have sri lanka namibia West Zimbabwe and West Indies. Therefore, that means that Netherlands, UAE, Ireland, and Scotland will all be kicked out. Which also this means that Group One will consist of Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Australia, West Indies, England, and New Zealand. And which also means that Group 2 will consist of Namibia, Zimbabwe, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan and South Africa. Mm -hmm.